Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Claudia. Thank you so much for watching today. Obviously, if you saw the title and the thumbnail, then you know today we're talking about creating a podcast. I was inspired to make this video because of my sister, who I live with, who actually started her own podcast in 2020. So I consulted with her to try to get the best information for others starting out from somebody who just recently went through it. I will also, of course, link hers down below if you're interested in checking it out. But today I really wanted to focus on the technical aspects of starting a podcast, like equipment, recording, software, and not so much concepting a podcast, what to title it, cover art, things like that. But if you do want me to make another video focusing on those topics, please let me know in the comments and I can create a separate video about that. But I will leave a list in the description box of everything I'll be covering today, along with their timestamps as always, if you need to skip around or if you're looking for something specific. So I wanna go ahead and get started, obviously with microphones. It's gonna come as no surprise to you if you're starting a podcast that you're gonna need a microphone. You might be able to get away with recording audio on your phone if you have a newer or like fancier phone since microphones in phones have come a long way, but I would not recommend using the microphone built into a computer since those are still pretty far behind in terms of audio quality. The most popular types of microphones for beginners starting out with podcasting are USB microphones. Since you can just plug them right into your computer and start recording, you don't need to mess with any dials or leveling of sound. You just kind of plug and go, which can be really helpful for beginners. The one my sister has is the Blue Snowball, which is a USB mic. It is one of the least expensive options on the market for podcasting microphones. It's right now $49 on Amazon, but I also wanted to do some more research into other good popular microphones for podcasting so that I can give you guys some options. So another one that I heard really good reviews about is the Samson Go. And this one is also $49 currently on Amazon. It's really small and compact, so if that's something you're looking for, this might be a good option for you. Another Samson mic that is a little bit of a step up is the Samson Q2U. This one is currently $69 on Amazon, and it's more of like a traditional looking microphone. Going another step up to the $99 price range on Amazon is the Audio Technica mic. And then finally, we have the Blue Yeti, which I'm sure you've heard about. It has over 20 thousand reviews on Amazon and this is the most expensive one that I'm going to talk about today at $129 currently on Amazon. So I'll link all of them below for you if you want to check them out to determine what you think would be best for you and your podcast. And also if you have any other microphone suggestions, please leave them in the comments for other future podcasters. So once you have your microphone, you obviously need to set up a good recording area. The best thing to do is to record somewhere carpeted if you can. If not, just find a small room in your house or your apartment that you can throw blankets and pillows on the floor to really absorb sound. That's the biggest thing. You don't want echoey sound in your podcast, obviously there's nothing to distract a listener if your audio quality is bad. So do your best to really set up a good recording area. Honestly, my biggest recommendation is if you have a closet that you can fit yourself into, like if you can pull up a chair and like a little desk for your computer to record on, you're gonna get the most clear sound in your closet because there's nothing. It's just like so quiet because of all the padding from the clothing. So I would say do that if you can. If not, just find a small carpeted room or one that you can kind of mess with to pad any like wood or tile or concrete floors so that there's no echoing. And this is a really good way to fake really good quality audio even if you don't have the highest quality microphone. Okay, so now you have a microphone, you have a space, and now you're ready to record your podcast. So what kind of software are you gonna use? I'm gonna start with free software because obviously that's everybody's favorite. And a really popular one is Audacity. This one can be used with both Mac and PC, so it's a great option regardless of what computer you have. But if you do have a Mac and you're not looking to download any additional software, you can use GarageBand, which comes with all Mac computers. 
And then if you're looking to kind of go a step up, something with a little bit more bells and whistles, there is Adobe Audition. And this one is $20 a month, which is pretty pricey, but it might be worth checking out if you already have an Adobe Suite account, if Audition is one of the programs already in your subscription. You can also record on Anchor, which I will talk about in a little bit. So what if you wanna record with a friend, but you can't because there is a global pandemic or you wanna interview somebody across the country or across the world. There are a couple good options for doing kind of group podcasting. Two of them are Squadcast and Iris and they are both priced very similarly, have seven day free trials. So I'll link both in the description box so you can kind of go through each one and decide for yourself what features might be best for you and your podcasting situation. And the good thing about this is if you do end up getting the paid version and you do have a podcast with another host or a group of friends, you can split the cost amongst everyone. If you are going to be recording with other people in a group podcast setting, I would highly recommend getting headphones, especially if you're doing it through your computer because that way the audio from the other person speaking isn't coming out and being picked up by your microphone, only you can hear it. So it will definitely help with your sound quality and also help with the editing process that you can't hear the other person in like the background of your microphone. I'm sure you've seen videos of people recording podcasts and they all have those big nice headphones, but honestly, whatever headphones you have will work just fine, especially if you're just starting out. Okay, so now your audio is recorded and it's ready to be edited. I think that editing is the most kind of intimidating or daunting aspect for a lot of people, but all the programs I mentioned before, Audition, GarageBand, Audacity, all are recording and editing softwares all in one. And you can obviously look up some YouTube videos or Google tutorials on how to use these programs, but if worse comes to worse and you just cannot figure it out, I would highly recommend using a freelance website like Fiverr or Upwork to find freelance audio editors. You can filter out by your budget, you can filter out by deadline, how quickly you're gonna need the project done. So this can be a really good option if editing is the final hurdle getting you to posting your very first podcast. So maybe you also wanna add a little bit of an intro jingle, which most podcasts have. I would highly recommend using Epidemic Sound for this. It's what I use for all of my YouTube videos for the copyright free music. You obviously don't wanna use a sound that you do not have the rights to. So going with a website that has copyright free music is a great option. Some of the recording softwares might have jingles that are already built in that you can use, but if you don't really like the ones that they have or you want something more unique, then I would highly recommend checking out Epidemic Sound. They do have a 30-day free trial. So now you have a fully formed podcast and you're ready to send it out into the world. How do you get it on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, all of that? So basically what you do is upload it to a host website and there are a number of different host websites. The two I'm gonna talk about today are Anchor, which I mentioned before, and Simplecast. Anchor is amazing because it's completely free, and not only can you upload your podcasts and have it distributed through Anchor, you can also record and edit everything in Anchor as well. So for a free platform that you can do all of those things on, it's pretty amazing. My sister works in marketing and she did say that their analytics reports are pretty basic. So if you're looking for something a little bit more intricate, more in depth, if that's something that you really wanna focus on, then Simplecast is a good way to go. You do have to pay for it, but if you are looking for those really in-depth analytic reports, then Simplecast might be for you. And finally, you should really consider having some sort of social media presence. Obviously, there are so many podcasts out there right now, so you want a way to get listeners to your podcast, and social media is a really good way to do that, but it also gives your listeners a way to connect with you. So you can say on your podcast what your Instagram handle is or where they can find you on Twitter so that people can communicate with you and connect with you. So having at least one social media account is a really important aspect of starting up a new podcast. So that's it for today. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other tips, leave them in the comments down below for other podcasters so we can all help each other out. And I also did leave some additional links in the description box with more resources if you want to go more in depth than what I covered in this video today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up 
and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.